nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn seven ways that you can utilize Microsoft Forms to its potential. I'm also going to unravel a ton of new AI features that are going to save you a ton of time. So with that being said, let's nerd out. Quick note before we get started, Microsoft Forms is available in the free version of Microsoft 365. So if you head on over to office.com, then you can see here, sign up for the free version of Microsoft 365. You will just need to follow the prompts to create an account. And just note that all of these features may not be available to you, but it is a great place to get started. Once you are logged into your Microsoft account, your page is going to look a little bit different than mine, but click on this grid icon on the top left and then select forms. If you don't see forms here, then you can click on explore all your apps and locate forms that way. From the main forms dashboard, the first thing that I wanna show you is these templates. So if you wanted to, you could start a form or a quiz from scratch, or you could even do a quick import, which I've done another video on that is linked up here. But why not start off with one of these pre-filled templates just to get your gears in motion? So if we click on view all, then we can see the trending templates at the top here. And it even shows you what percentage of users have selected these templates. There are some other features here. You can organize successful events. You can gain insights, improve employee satisfaction and digitize your workflows. So for the purpose of this video, let's take that top trending template and see how we can make it our own. We can see here that this is our form template and it's already looking like somebody has spent a ton of time on this with a lot of pre-filled fields. So this can really just get the juices flowing and kick you into gear so that you can you know, just basically fine tune it and customize it to your needs. So the second thing that I wanted to show you was how we can customize this form using AI to make it our own. And in the top right hand corner, we are seeing a lightning bolt ad description. So this is AI suggesting that, hey, you should probably add a description to this form. So let's click on add. And here we are, look, did you see what just happened there? It's already provided a brief description on the form. If you're not totally happy with this description, then do not even worry about it. You can edit it and make it your own. Same with this date field here, as well as the titles. The next thing that I want to show you is how we can add questions to this form using AI. So if we click in an edit field, for example, you're going to see this recommended questions area pop up. And you can see here that there is full name and it's got a little icon to indicate that this is a text field. As you can see here, start date is now a date column. If we scroll down even further, we have a ratings. And so you can just see that there are a ton of different pre-populated questions here. Why don't we select the full name and you can see here that that checkbox icon has been added and we can just go add selected and it's showing that we've only selected one question. You see that it is so cool. It's just been added in there at the click of a button. Now we aren't just limited to these AI recommended questions. If we want to add our own, then we can click in a question to open up that edit pane and we can add a new question here. So in this example, I'm going to select a choice question and we are going to ask our employees if they were to have a four day work week, which days of the week would they prefer to work? And you can see here that AI has already suggested these five days in the work week. So I'm going to select all and look at that. They have already pre-populated. Now we could even add Saturday if we wanted to, to customize this further. And you can now see that Sunday is also being suggested. So just a couple of clicks and we have pre-populated this question. If you're not happy with any of these, then hey, just click that little trash icon to customize it to your needs. Next cool thing that I want to show you is how we can add branching to our form. So let's now ask our employees if they want to have a four day work week, we can see these AI questions already being suggested. And then now if we make that required, we can head on down to add branching. And so now you can see that this is saying, if they do want to have a four day work week, then where in this form do we want them to go? And in this example, I do want them to go to that next question, which is number three, asking them, 
which days of the week they would like to work. If an employee does not want to have a four-day work week, I'm not too sure who wouldn't, but they will skip that next question and then we can decide where we want them to go next. So in this example, we can just pop them down to the next question after this one that we want them to skip. So I'm going to select question four. And then now when the employees complete that form, this is how the direction of the form is going to go. So that's pretty cool. To exit the branching options, then we can just click this back button to go back to the main edit pane. The next cool feature that I wanted to show you was how we can style our form using AI. So once again, we see that little lightning bolt icon up here under style. And we can see all of these amazing templates that are being suggested for us. And if we select view all, then we can, you know, customize this to our need. So just a ton of cool features here, and it really can just create the, the theme of your branding or however you would like your form to be conveyed. If we scroll down even further, then you could add background music. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, if we want to, you know, add a little bit of a twist to our form, then we can do that. I'm going to toggle that off for now. <laughs> the next thing that I wanted to show you was how we could analyze these responses. So this is a different form, but I do have some responses here that we can see it in action. And you can see here that there are some beautiful visual charts already available and it's broken down into the questions so you can really easily analyze your data. Back at the top, we can even view results by the respondent and you can see here that the respondent's name is at the top and then you can analyze this person's answers to their questions individually and you just toggle back and forth between the responses using these arrows. So if we back out of this, then there are some additional options on the right hand side so if we wanted to, we could just wipe all of the responses. So I think that this would be helpful if you wanted to reuse this form in another year and have a clean slate of data to analyze. Last but not least, you can export this into Excel and analyze the data even further to customize it to your needs. One of my favorite features of Microsoft Form is this live present mode. So we can embed this form directly into our PowerPoint presentation and we can have our audience scan this QR code and submit their responses in real time. I wouldn't necessarily use this for an employee satisfaction survey. It might not go according to plan, but if you wanted to create a poll or if you're doing some product releases to a marketing team, then you can see here that that feedback would be updated in real time and it would also be creating this nice visual aspects for you to you know engage with your audience as well as some key talking points so i really like this here we can see that this is a text answer and these are just you know a nice talking point that you can use and engage with your audience right away moving along there are some settings that i would love to share with you so if we click the ellipsis on the top right and we can pop on down to settings and the first area is who can fill out this form and the first option just note that anyone can respond not require a sign in so i would say that this is particularly helpful if you are doing a customer satisfaction survey or if you're in this live present mode and you don't want to hinder responses. Now you can, of course, specify it for only people within your organization or moving along, we have some options for responses. And if you remember when we did that AI generation of the description, we noticed that there was two minutes timer added as well as a end date for the form responses. And so this is where we can edit those. So you can even add a start date um, when you want to start to collect responses. I'm going to turn that off, but we can adjust the end date here. For this timer, I would probably say that that is mainly catered to quizzes. And just note that when the time is up, then you can't collect any more responses. So, you know, especially if you're doing a customer satisfaction survey, you don't want to be cutting off your customers from providing you with important data. Moving along, there is also an option here for a progress bar, which 
In my instance, it is not available because this survey is only one page. Here is another form that I have where I did a video on how you can record your form responses into a Microsoft list. But I wanted to show this to you because here we can see that progress bar in action. We can also customize that thank you page. If you're enjoying my video, then I would really love it if you could hit that like button and let me know which feature was your favorite in the comments below, as well as subscribe to my channel to get notifications on my most recent videos. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. Let me know what feature is your favorite in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.